TB is, is the leading infectious disease killer um, at the moment, and the recent surveillance reports have showed that more people die from tuberculosis uh, every year than die from HIV or die from any other infectious disease. Uh, so it's critically important that we tackle tuberculosis. And whereas people know about HIV, they know about malaria, um, less people know about TB, it's, in some ways it's a, a silent pathogen, it's there in the community, it causes huge amounts of health problems, huge amounts of morbidity, and yet we have really underinvested and, and neglected uh, this disease as a global health problem. If we are to contain the global burden of TB, we need new tools and we need new diagnostics and we need new treatments and we need a vaccine. In order to achieve this, researchers have a key role to play. Tuberculosis has always been there. We've never been close to eradicating TB. In Western Europe, we've seen something of a decline in tuberculosis uh, over the years, um, but TB is still a problem in, in many parts of the world. Um, there's been a particular increase in the last uh, 10 to 20 years or, or so uh, due to a number of factors. Um, the emergence of the HIV epidemic, um, the HIV knocks out a patient's immune system and makes them much more susceptible to tuberculosis, uh, but also we've seen increasing rates of drug resistance. We also know that uh, the social cohesion in a society is incredibly important to uh, reducing the rates of tuberculosis. That's associated with poverty and so very often in parts of the world where there is civil conflict you will see rates of tuberculosis as other infections start to rise. That's extremely important in terms of where TB went to, or more importantly, why it's not gone away.